Hi guys, welcome to this session. Today we are going to see top 10 case studies for data analyst. And I have brought this case studies from different different domains which you can do and put in your resume to showcase that you not only have knowledge about how to create dashboards and uh, work on any case study, you can show that you have domain knowledge also. So before jumping into the case study, I would like you to answer this quiz and comment below which tool from the below option is offered by Microsoft for creating dashboards since we all are here going to discuss about data analysis. So comment below which tool here is provided by Microsoft, whether it's Tableau, Power BI, QuickSight or none of these. So just comment below, I will answer this at the end of the session. Now let's jump into our first case study, which is quite popular, it's customer churn analysis. Now, what, how does this help you in your career, like customer churn analysis, like why we should do this case study? Because this is used by a lot of companies like financial service companies, consumer technology, energy sector, healthcare, insurance. These industries use churn analysis. So, and what is this process? It is a process of measuring the rate at which customers quit the product, site of service. For example, sometimes we use uh, telecom like SIM cards and we don't like their service. We churn into some other companies. We, we, we quit their service. So these companies, they check where and why their churn rate is going high and low in which area so that they can take action on it. So this is a good case study. It might look common to you, but trust me, you learn a lot. And if you know how to showcase it, it's a very good case study. Now let's jump into our next case study, which is COVID analysis. Since we are all are facing this COVID waves. So it's a good case study to put in your resume and showcase that you are very well aware of real time case, real time case studies, because we have this data, which is real life data and you need to analyze like how COVID cases are going up and down in, a, in which period and what's the reason. Now data may contain this date, country, confirmed cases, death, recovered, active cases. And you can get the, all this data online on Google. Now next case studies, airline analysis. This is a really good case study because let's say if you would like to uh, apply for airline industries and you put this case study in your resume, it can be really helpful because they know that you are already aware of what kind of work you're going to have there. And uh, this is not only a good case study because of job perspective, I will say for your learning perspective, because you know how you can help an industry to increase their revenue. You know, customer behavior preferences and all these things and like then you will also understand how airline works when they increase their price, when they decrease their price based on what condition, what time, like when there's a festival season, prices are high, when it's there's no festivals, prices are low because booking is less already. So you will learn all of this in this case study and it's a good learning. Next case study is life expectancy. This is a very common topic especially in like last 20, 30 years and even now, we have seen that life expectancy increased uh, uh, dramatically since globalization came. And we also know that like in India, average life expectancy is 65 to 70 and in US it's nearly 80. So this is a good case study. And if you are uh, going to apply in a medical field, this can be really helpful for you also. Now, what does this tell you about it tells us about like uh, overall health of a population because when you see that average life expectancy in india is 65 you know that uh, overall health of the population and, uh, and lifestyle is not that high and healthcare is not a good in india and when you see that the same in us you can tell that healthcare is very good in america life quality of life is very high so just go through this case study and 
and every case study will give you a learning about different different domains so that's a very beautiful thing now next is ipl case study if you love cricket i think you are going to love this more than me i am not much into cricket so uh, i have, i don't like this ipl case study much but i have seen this like you learn a lot in this after looking at the data for example which team is winning which player has uh, given the best performance most wickets most runs by any player so it's a very famous case study in tableau i have seen it so let's say you would like to show some new case study in your resume so you can skip this but if you want to do for the learning basis i think this is a very good case study and you can get solution on google also like oh, what kind of dashboard can be best so do give it a try next case study seventh case study is super store analysis this is also a very popular case study in tableau so and same just like ipl if you are a beginner and you are working on this case study and you would like to compare your dashboard you can again get this solution on google first beginning case studies are not that common for example life expectancy and covid 19 covid 19 is also quite popular uh, i'm not sure about in tableau but you can check that in power bi airline analysis life, life expectancy so these are like uh, common you can get the solution also to compare your dashboards and super store analysis is very good for tableau why because through this case study you can learn most of the features of tableau i mean because the data set is like that you can apply a lot of features of tableau so just give it a try and you will learn about this domain a lot like how sales uh, how sales are being affected by region and uh, by time also and you can identify weak areas to boost the revenue of the company so just enjoy, just learn from this i mean, i think you will enjoy this super so analysis and even on youtube you can get a solution for this so this is a good case study to start with actually to learn now let's go to next loan application case study this is a good case study even to put in a resume especially when you are applying in a banking sector because uh, one of the i think the main job of the bank is lending business and they need to identify customers to whom they can lend money and they will get it back also and that's an important factor for the bank when you see any bank is growing or not the main thing is how good they are in getting their money back so this case study will probably book your career in banking if you want to go into this sector like finance sector so just do this like after doing like beginning case studies this is the case study you must do it and put in your resume i highly watch for this one now let's check our next case study which is healthcare analysis like thyroid analysis and say again it is for medical field so i think you are going to enjoy this if you want to go in medical sector i think you will love this because thyroid cases are actually rising if you see so this is a good case study to put in a resume as it is connected to uh, current scenario so it it analyzes thyroid data set collected for various patients and understanding the causes of it effects and insights about the disease so do give it a try if you like medical field next case study is personal transaction this is a fine case study for practice i'm giving it still in like top 10 because like cases case studies like this give you a lot of learning because personal transaction data set is uh, like you can say like intermediate level if you are if you have done enough practice so and you want to do some intermediate case study and normally you know what happens when the data set is quite let's say boring and simple where let's say you don't have much features then it becomes hard to get insight from it and that's where your job comes into it because when you can get insights from a sim uh, very simple data set where there's not much details into it that's where your skills 
showcase their presence, you know. When the data set is very simple, they have all the features, getting insights from that is not difficult. So this is case study. This is something case study you can put in a resume and you can show that uh, this is this was quite challenging, so I should work on it. You can showcase it in a resume that you have worked on some data set like this and created a nice dashboard for on it and lots of insight from it. Next is e-commerce data set. This is our last case study. I think I have shown 11 case study here probably. So e-commerce data set is very helpful and also for if you want to go into some e-commerce industry. Now, what does it do? It checks all the reasons like positive and negative due to which store store revenue has gone up and down. And then you can understand like how customers are behaving, why they are shifting, when they are shifting. And based on their behavior, you can make decisions for your business. And what kind of data it contains? Invoice data, payments data, customer data, and store information. Like store location, their revenue, whether it's going up and down, what kind of products they are selling. So, so these were the case studies, guys. Uh, now let's come to our quiz. What's the answer? Which tool from the below option is offered by Microsoft? The answer is Power BI. Power BI is uh, provided by Microsoft and uh, it's a good tool to create dashboards. Tableau and Power BI are quite famous. Quick site is given by Amazon. So this is also to create dashboard. And the more you know about tools, the more your chances are for getting hired. The main, the main thing is it's not how many tools, you know, the main thing is how good you are in getting insights from the data. Whether when the data is very simple or complex, main thing is how good you are into getting that, getting the information from it. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this session. This uh, video, this video was uh, uh, demanded by one of our audience who had requested for top 10 case studies for data analyst. So if you enjoyed this session, please like our video and subscribe our channel. And if you want to suggest something for our next video, you can comment below. Thank you guys.